Somebody working on this episode must have been a huge fan of Rogue. You know, I just found out that uh, X-Men was a book before it was a movie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because Riker and Picard are down on the planet. Now, I'm not going to say Riker first. <laughs> and at one point in their conversation, Q calls Data a robot. But an android is a robot? That was the thing that bugged me the most out of the whole episode. Really? We're talking about an episode focused around John Delancey. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> what bugged you the most? Yeah. It's just booby trap. It's not the booby trap. I think that was a movie with twins or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> the enemy overall. This is the most Romulan-focused episode so far, which I was happy to finally get to. Damn it. You always get to talk first, and you always say what I was going to say. Let me die with my hands at your throat. I thought we were recording an episode here. <laughs> <laughs> At least everybody has new uniforms. The other ones, Jonathan Frakes, it wasn't working. <laughs> Let me say it, and then you can piggyback off of it. Yeah, I'm not sure what my notes mean. You must have taken great notes. <laughs> I think I wrote them before I knew what was happening. What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you don't know who Michigan J. Frog is? I don't watch cartoons. I know, like, Doug's Bunny, Elmer Glud, Donald Duck. <laughs> Picard sends down a post-it note saying, Hey, I'm a human. You should leave before the Smelliac get here. <laughs> and I really like Gates McFadden's acting in the scene. I thought she was particularly hot in this episode. I'm just going to say it. But I think that with every episode, so I don't know. Even the ones where she's not there and you kept mistaking Pulaski for her. <laughs> And I really like Gates McFadden's acting in the scene. Are you being sarcastic? No, I thought I thought it was good. Just checking. I know you hate Beverly. I don't hate Beverly, I hate Gates McFadden. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, rock... Rocker. <laughs> At one point... Oh, f okay, hang on, I just gotta get it out. <laughs> rocker. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a B plus. I think you just want to disagree with me. Get your grade as far away from mine as possible. I'm surprised you didn't go in the other direction and give it an F give it an R for Romulan. That, that's not even funny. Why did you laugh? I know, because it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have another. I put gah in my note, like G-A-H, exclamation point. <laughs> so I must have felt pretty strongly about it. I know they're there for something else, but it was a poor juxtaposition of narration and visuals. Agreed. Very good, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta figure out where the hell I ever find notes now. Okay. Yeah, and then, okay, I have one more. And then at the end, he says, Stop! Stop laughing! <laughs> okay. Okay. When we next see Jordy, he's trying to climb up the side of a pool for some reason. Okay. Yeah, why? I mean, we saw him crawl out of a hole onto flat ground. Oh, maybe he determined that was the best place to climb up. I mean, he doesn't even know where he's going. How do you know that? Because he doesn't know where he's going. He's wandering around. He's looking for shelter. But for some reason, he's like crawling over a pool. Why is he crawling over a pool? I, I don't know. It's just... I don't know. I don't f***ing know why he's trying to climb out of a pool. Uh, what do you got next? Uh, I just have ARG with like a <laughs> bunch of exclamation points. I don't know if you clearly wrapped up the plot. My last note just says, they explain everything, then leave. Yeah, so why would you say that? They explain everything, then leave. <laughs> I'm going to say my thing again, because I wasn't planning on saying it like that. Evolution, or the lack thereof, and it just can't write comedy. It has to live. <laughs> my next one's 3520. I have the word f so I must have felt pretty strong about it. I appreciated the attempt at action. That's not my issue with the episode. My issue was that O'Brien didn't get enough screen time. <laughs> How did you feel about the team up of Data and Q? That question was directed towards you. <laughs> we get a TNG meeting scene, and for once, it's really good. Why did you say it like that? Because we get meeting scenes in this show all the time. It's a TNG meeting scene. I mean, they have the whole meeting room for no reason other than to have meetings. <laughs> I'm gonna let <laughs> you think about how stupid <laughs> no. that sounded. <laughs> they don't need a room dedicated to that. We have conference rooms in real life, and technically we don't need them. No, but that's because that's a place for everybody to gather, but they're already all gathered together. But I could make the same argument about where I work. Well, you should put that in the suggestion box. We should get rid of all rooms. And while we're at it, take down these f***ing pictures. Get rid of these plants. I don't need a chair. I'm already here. 
I'm gonna have so many for season three of Star Trek. I might actually do two parts. I remember earlier you saying like we barely have any. Yeah, but then we got really stupid. <laughs>